how to edit and rebrand PLR. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can edit and rebrand PLR using Scribble and a couple of other free resources. Scribble is not a free resource, it's actually a paid service that I use that uh, I've actually went ahead and already and made some changes to a PLR book that I used for Scribble, but in this case, since you haven't started editing a, um, a book in Scribble yet, you would have to go to templates and pick a template right here, and um, go to your pro it'll go in your projects of course if you save it and exit. So this book took me about an hour to create because it is a little finicky when you um, upload your Word document. So I'm going to share with you a free website where you can convert your PDF into a Word document. You have to go to smallpdf.com and this is an open source tool. And you'll want to go to your convert PDF to text. And this is what it'll look like after when it's done. Now I changed the cover title of my PDF that I was using. And I just swapped out the links and some wordings that I didn't like. And how that is really easy to use, to be honest with you. And I'm going to share with you how you could uh, rebrand brand the product using the um, cover image that you get with um, scribble. You would have to go to um, your projects and hit the image icon and hit save as and go to media modifier which I'll have all the links to the resources in a document format down below also. And this is what I what it came out to be. Uh, list building essentials. And then all you would have to do is change out certain things that you don't want. You know, and just like editing it, and you can also link out to different things if you wanted to, which I have done. And what I like about Scribble is that you can, it automatically creates the table book of contents for you, which will go to you, your page that you want. And um, you do have to do edit it uh, quite a bit to make it work better for you. That's why I would prefer this over Canva, and of course you can use Canva for free, but I don't use Canva, I use Scri Scribble for editing PLR books. And of course you have to like, play with it a little bit to make it work. See that was kind of low, and you just have to edit it, just like that. And I did use... Um, the PDF to text format and it did came out to look like this and you can like swap out the um, the page color which is up here the background color and just swap it out to a to color that you wanted. And you can add in like a resource lit page area like I did. I used Google Docs to uh, put um, the extra resources down in the book, which is really cool. And that's how you can, uh, or you can also add in your content, of course, if you wanted to. There's different places that you can do. Um, within Scribble, you can use the, the generated content in here. But I just recommend if you have PLR, I would recommend go to smallpdf.com and generate and convert your PDF into text and put put in your Word document in here. So again, you will have to edit it. It did take me about an hour to. Um, 
generate, and this is what the final product looks like. And that's how it'll look. You see list buildings, essentials, docs, using the PDF to text tool. And there's the um, finished PDF right here. Just give it a second to load. See, a seven page report of list building essentials, you know, really good to, uh, report, it's just short and to the point. It actually looks better when it's, when it's finished, you know. Scribble is a really good tool for that. And I already did all this, so yeah, I don't need to do that. And you can publish it to whoever, uh, if you got Scrindle, which I don't really recommend you use anyway. I've already, um, get everything right here. And you would, the next, uh, tool that you would have to use is, um, Media Modifier to edit the, um, main page, main book cover which I'm going to pick out a report looking style cover mock-up and look at that, I like this one right here the spiral book and then you can add in your image once it loads up I'm going to edit this template. And bam. I'm going to crop it. Looks pretty good. And of course, you would want to do download. And I am using the free version of this tool, so it is pretty limited, but it, you can um, use it for free, like what I did. That's what it looked like. I do use another tool, but um, I just recommend this one because it's free for um, beginners that just want to do this. And, um, edit their PLR books, which is really cool. Kalen V Marketing, signing off. See you in the next video.